know, with your role on this team, even though it's not the quote unquote starter. Just how yeah. do you view yourself? I mean, do you even think of the term substitute or backup player, or are you a starter in, in your eyes? Um, I'm definitely a starter. Coach always tells me all the time um, that I'm a starter and I'm capable of starting. I just got to stay positive um, no matter what my role is, and um, I just got to feed into that and feed off the energy of, of the team and um, give them energy as well when I'm on the bench, Against not starting. Georgia, it seemed like after that first wave kind of calmed down, offense was stagnating, you come in and start getting to the basket. So what allows you to do that? Um, you see in the defense or just that's your game? Just got to have my mind right when I'm on the bench. Um, I got to just pay attention more to the game. And when I do get on the floor, um, to just make sure I have that energy and keep playing. Are there any adjustments you did have to make? I mean, obviously you've embraced this role like you're talking about now, but when coach first kind of came to you and said, this is what I want you to do. What was that kind of process like for you? Um, it's not always easy. Um, some, sometimes I play better than um, most games. And sometimes, you know, I just got to keep my head in the game sometimes. And um, with the Georgia, Georgia game, like I said, I think like mentally, I just got to prepare myself for those type of situations. So when it does, like when coach does come to me, um, saying that I'm not starting, for instance, um, I'll be more prepared for that. So. Is it, you know, some, is that the biggest challenge of coming off the bench, kind of staying mentally engaged like that? Um, most definitely, most definitely mentally engaged. Um, mental is something that a lot of people struggle with, and if you come in the game and you're not mentally prepared, you know, your mind is elsewhere, and you're not focused on the game, and you're not focused on winning, you know, you're just more focused on, you know, what you got to do on the court instead of like being all in one. You usually come in cold, you know, to these games and you're used to getting in the rhythm from the beginning. Uh, just yeah. how have you had to adjust, I guess, your, your pregame routine or, or anything that you go about doing in the game to kind of kind of be effective as soon as you get called like that? I'm just doing extra. Um, either if it's just studying the game when you're not on the court, you just got to either like get shots up when you're, you know, when you're not playing, um, in practice, after practice, free time, just you got to study the game more and be ready. Destiny, the, uh, the shoes have been kind of interesting the past few games with the Steph Curry Sour Patches. What's your opinion of them? Love them. Um, they're pretty cool. I mean, they, they show good on TV. They're very bright. You know, it attracts a lot of eyes. So. <laughs> Doesn't bother you to be wearing mismatched shoes? No. Nah. Nah. Anything else for Destiny? <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Destiny. Thank you. Thank you.